Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from me, Jay Kilgore. You can see this video tutorial and more at my website, www.jaykilgore.com. Um, today's tutorial is going to deal with um, alien skin software, more specifically, their exposure for software. Um, alien skin creates um, kind of a post-processing um, software that allows you to do things like cross-process images or make images look um, like uh, they were from the 40s or, or whatnot. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump right into it. We have a picture of Morgan. This is just a random picture that I grabbed from our shoot. The shoot took place... Uh, um, early last year, so about June, um, maybe May, June of 2011, uh, shot with a Canon EOS 40D with a 70 to 200 of 28 lens, um, and my favorite outdoor spot. Um, here is the image as it is raw. This is straight out of the camera, no retouching or anything, and this is what it looks like once we kind of did some slight adjustments. Um, I like to enhance the contrast in every photo that I take as well as saturate it just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> before I get into it, what I say is, is I'll see a picture in its thumbnail version and I'll know right away if it's something that I want to do some kind of special post process to. Um, it's just kind of the way that I am. Um, this image, I, I didn't get any kind of, you must cross process, um, I just uh, grabbed it for this tutorial. So um, here is the image again as is raw, and this is with retouching. Um, Alien Skin now comes with its black and white software included with the color software, which is great, it's less work for us. So once you install it, you go to Filter, Alien Skin, Exposure 4, and um, it's going to open up to this palette. As it turns out, it works with the color that you just with, that you used last, which is what we're going to end up using, of course. Um, but it will give you the opportunity to look and see what other ones it has. So here's the one that we'll be using, the color photo fading. But for those of you that are curious, it has black and white films. So you can see in the upper left hand side that it's giving you a snapshot thumbnail preview of what everything is going to look like when you do it. There's a plethora um, of different black and white options that you have available to you. Um, this image for me doesn't really work as black and white um, so let's go back to some of our color you can do really cool things with it you can work with the uh, Instagram kind of color right off the bat that color fading cross-processing um, you can warm it up you can make it cold tons and tons of things available this is one of my more favorite ones to use um, but I don't use it 100% originally the way that it comes. I, I edit it a little bit and to give it my own special look, we come over here to the right side and we just start moving sliders. Um, you can change the tonality of the image. Um, you can add your own dark and light points. You can change the focus, add some kind of vignette to it, to the sides. You can add some grain or noise. Um, you can make turn it infrared or you can age it by giving it kind of a curled corners kind of look. Um, I don't really mess with any of those. I just play with the colors here. So let's just kind of play around, see what we get. We're going to desaturate it just a little bit. Um, like I said earlier, I'm pretty big on shadows. Um, so, of course, if we go high with shadows, our midtones are going to kind of be a little different. Um, and then uh, 
Let's pull out the reds a little bit since she's got a fair amount. Let's boost the yellows. There's a lot of green in this picture, so let's try and pull those greens out just a little bit. With Cyan, we're going to keep an eye on her top. Um, blue is the opposite of yellow, so we want to make sure we have that. And magentas. And that's pretty much how I would do this image with... Um, alien skin uh, exposure for and then from there I would go through and do my own tweaks to it but before I show you that um, once we click on OK what you're gonna see here is that alien skin took and made a copy of the it took and made a duplicate of the original image and put it all on its own layer so for an example if you're not happy with what you got you can just go back to the original or you can go back to the original up here or you can add um, the exposure uh, alien skin back to it um, from there you go through you dress it up you make everything look groovy and great and uh, tweak it edit it however you'd like um, and this is Hold on, wait for it. This is my finished image. This is what all I would do to the image um, once it's all done and said with. Um, this is how I would deliver it to the customer. This is the raw image, well, raw with exposure 4. And um, that's how I would do it. What I will do is um, since I love alien skin so much I'm on a, going to not only put up the raw uh, next to the alien skin um, image but I'm also going to upload for you for free um, one of my favorite alien skin retouch uh, force presets rather um, that'll be available on my blog go ahead use it and uh, share with me what you come up with I'd love to see it um, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up on my blog, which is uh, jkilgore.com. Thank you.